Everybody, welcome back to today's vlog here on the YouTube channel. Points race number eight here at the Red Bluff Outlaws, and it is for Petrol Trophy night, which means there's a six foot trophy up for grabs for every single division. We're down here in turns one and two at the Red Bluff Outlaws. Here's a quick look at the racetrack. Now the racetrack is a little bit different than it was last week. Remember in last week's video, we talked a lot about how good the bottom was all night long. There's a berm down here, you have the cones and you can really kind of get your left run on them, which made the bottom uh, very dominant compared to the top side, which was much flatter. As we walk out here on the track, you can see there's definitely more of a definitive groove on the outside. We're gonna be using that in qualifying as we go out and about group number three. So we're gonna get tonight's vlog started. Real quick though, before we get into qualifying, let's check out the trophies. Well, these are some of the most prestigious trophies everyone is going to be going for tonight here at the Red Bluff Outlaws. The Six Foot Perpetual Trophy, they've been going on for years and years and years, and these are some of the originals. Down here on the very end, this is the open one that over 40 competitors will be aiming for in the A-Main event. Now, we've never won an open perpetual trophy here at Red Bluff, but we have won in the box stock class in 2013 and 2014. So maybe we can add to our history here in 2021 and put our name on the open division trophy. Anyway, let's get tonight started in qualifying. Like I said, we'll be going out fairly early. done with qualifying we laid down a pretty good lap group two uh, it's been better to go out early here at Red Bluff these last couple of weeks and I just tried something different the track was super gripped up and I felt like I just drove it harder than I ever have that's a struggle I've had previously here is just trying to qualify good and figure out how to get around this place some weeks were fast sometimes we aren't but tonight we absolutely nailed it and my teammate Landon Brooks also laid down a good lap in group uh, group one so right now we're top of the board and then second for factory QRC great start to the night we'll see how the track holds up here for the rest of qualifying but it is still fairly early and we'll let you guys know our result here at the end well we're getting ready to set the 18 t down we did go quick time tonight out of 40 opens at the red club outlaws that is a great start you guys know qualifying can be a struggle for me but we we're able to lay down a really good lap and the 18 t is feeling pretty good tonight so let's head out for the heat race we're going to be starting for
to play tonight. Uh, fourth to first there in the heat race. I can't say enough how fast this 18T is right now. We were flying. I saw them giving me the signal that we pulled away a bunch after like three laps. So just tried to settle it down there. My, butt, my blood's pumping. My heart's pumping. Uh, I was a little nervous for that heat race, but glad we pulled it off and advanced three spots to get the win. I haven't talked to you guys here in a little bit, uh, catch you up with everything. So we just did the trophy dash there. Started sixth, at one point I thought we were maybe gonna get up to third, but everyone just got super bottled up and then our stuff kind of fell off at the end. But the track's just super abrasive now. It's rubber on both the bottom and the top. We just gotta get our stuff a little bit better. We'll make all of our normal changes for the A-Main event. And we almost probably could have made them for that dash. That's kind of why I didn't feel too good. Just gotta work out a few things with the race car. We can get a little bit better. And now it's just time to see where we're gonna start. So we'll have the redraw up next. And the worst we can start is sixth the best we can start is on the pole. Check one, two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're running late on time here, but just want to do the redraw real quick for the open feature event. Tonight, if you go to the back of the pack, it pays $8,500 to win the race if you start 16th. So let's figure out who's going to take the challenge tonight. First one to draw me the 18T of Tanner Holmes. He's going to pick up one of these buckets. Whatever number is on the bottom side is where he's going to start in the feature. He finds the sixth. That's the worst one you could have. So Tanner Holmes, last week's feature winner, is going to start sixth. Well, it is showtime here at the Red Bluff Outlaws. We are going to be rolling off from the second row outside starting spot, which is fourth. Originally, we were going to be rolling off from sixth, but Casey McLean has accepted the back row challenge. $1,500 on the line, a really nice looking trophy that we would love to put down at QRC. I got my teammate Landon on the pole. I'm going to be rolling off from fourth, and it's 35 laps, I believe. It's either 30 or 35, but no matter what, a long race. We just want to keep a level head and try to be there at the end to make something happen. If possible, we would love to jump out front, but I think the top's gonna be really, really good. The bottom isn't bad. I just don't think it's as strong as the outside line. And once we get out there, we'll be able to figure it all out. But like I said, let's try to stay out of trouble, stay up front, and put ourselves in contention for the win. See you guys out there.
uh, Tanner Holmes picks up his second win of the season. And how about this? His 40th career win at the Red Bluff Outlaws. That ties him for the most wins all time with the Red Bluff Outlaws. Tanner Holmes, man, this win can't get any bigger. Six foot trophy, perpetual trophy night. Second win of the season. Great night overall and your 40th career win here with Red Bluff Outlaws. Uh, great run tonight, buddy. I'm speechless. I can kind of finally let it all sink in here because, you know, obviously we're in traffic there. Uh, by the way, I love lap traffic. That was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, just sometimes you take them out, you can get them. You know, Carson was kind of the guy to beat there. And, uh, you know, just we're just racing in lap traffic and stuff goes wrong. But 40th win feels great. Uh, there's so many uh, all-time greats on that list. It's just awesome to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, to be standing here and get a six-foot trophy is pretty cool. Buddy, coming off a of turn number four to the checkers, a pucker up moment there. Yeah, dude, I don't know what happened. I just uh, kind of got through the bumps, and, man, uh, hopefully it looked cool on camera. So, But I uh, can't thank Jimmy Elledge, Durst Incorporated, Burst Racing Tire, Adams Investing, uh, everyone here at Red Bluff. It's uh, so cool that we get to compete for big money this year, and uh, just so pumped to be in here in Victory Lane. All right, man. Well, congratulations again. Enjoy this one. It's a special one. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. There you have it. Tanner Holmes with his 40th career win with the Red Bluff Outlaws puts him at the top of the charts all time tied with Keith Bloom Jr. Well, we talked at the beginning of the night. We're holding the $1,500 check. We got a beautiful six-foot perpetual trophy next to us. I finally have a chance to uh, breathe here the whole race in lap traffic, running second, running third, trying to posi position ourselves to win this race. I just was kind of losing it, and I felt like we did everything we could, but we just weren't able to, uh, you know, get it done there originally. And then, you know, we kind of had one fall on our lap there. Got my buddy Nick. Nick wanted to be in the clip here. Nick, where'd you travel from? Uh, San, San Carlos, Carlos, California. He came from San Carlos, California here to visit with us awesome yeah uh, but anyway had one fall in our lap here tonight at the Red Bluff Outlaws you know I feel like you know the Tyler Wolf Memorial remember how we lost that one a big race you know we kind of got one back here tonight Carson Perkins was the guy to beat but sometimes that's just how it goes and you got to position yourself and uh, like we always like to say sometimes it's best to be second anyway one more look at the trophy it's all dusty uh, but this thing is gonna look good down at QRC with another $1,500 check so these last two weekends have been out have been about as good as they get and tonight we almost had a perfect night minus our fifth place in the dash so uh, doesn't get too much better than that. We'll talk soon. We're going to load up, take some more pictures, and enjoy this victory. Well, we have the Red Bluff Outlaws here in the background to finish off today's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. One quick thing that I wanted to talk about before we end this, Elijah Jones uh, mentioned it in the interview, 40th career win at this place. That ties us at the top of the all-time wins list, which I'm just so honored to be a part of. I started coming here in 2010 and haven't missed a race since. This place has contributed so much to my career and developing me as the driver that I am today and learning new surfaces, learning how to be aggressive and race around a ton of competitors each week. And I really owe my career to this place and the driver that I am so just so thankful that we're able to click off that milestone and now just continue to try to add to it but like I said it's just a huge honor to be a part of that list and also a quick shout out to Jimmy Elledge Jimmy owns our outlaw cards owns factory QRC he dials Landon and I up every single week and gives us the best equipment for us to go out there and win he has his famous saying before we head out and that's I've done everything I can do it's up to you guys now to put it in victory lane and run up front and we we're able to do that tonight with the one two finish for factory QRC so I'll see you guys all in the next video Hope Hopefully a bunch of you guys tuned in and uh, we're just going to try to continue to add to our history and try to get 41, 42, 43 to uh, end the season. Anyway, we're going to end it. want to thank Factory QRC, Jimmy Elledge, Adams Investing, Durst Incorporated. Also want to thank Burris Racing Tire, Jet Fitness, and everyone that supports the Factory QRC Outlaw Carts. And then also a huge shout out to Bennett and Lance Delosier for helping us film tonight. Without them, the vlog would not be as top-notch as it is. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.